Vamos tratar? Hi, this is my first tutorial and as you can see I have my very good friend Sandy over here. It's Sandy boy. In this tutorial we are going to show you how to create the arrow effect that we made this summer. Yeah, and uh, we had to film all of the clips all over again. Because this guy right here, here it comes. managed to delete all of the clips. Yeah, yeah, blame on me. Great job! So what you will need is a camera, of course. A tripod. You actually don't need a tripod. You can only use a tripod if you want to steady picture. You need a green screen or a black screen, two video clips, After Effects. You can also use other editing program if you want to. A bow and two cheap arrows, a belt with a hole in the middle, and of course a volunteer. So before we're going to start, you must know which footages you will need. So you need one footage where you shoot the arrow and your volunteer are following the arrow with the camera. You also need another footage where your volunteer is pretending he or she has been shot. As you may saw in the video we used the tarpaulin because this guy over here didn't want to get dirty. Dirty. Now you maybe will think, how do you attach the arrow to your chest? Attach? I thought I shot you! So what you're gonna do is take one of your arrows and cut off the tip. I don't recommend to break an expensive arrow. After that you must take the belt and put the arrow through the hole of your belt. We actually tried to use tape last time, but that didn't work. So as you can see, it actually holds the arrow that can make your effect look uglier. After you've taken the arrow through the hole of your belt, then you can take the belt around your chest. You maybe figured out that the arrow in this effect, which is flying, actually isn't real. Really? Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you have to take a picture of the arrow that your volunteer shot in the first footage but which is important that you have to take the picture with a black screen or a green screen as your background let's get started the first thing we're going to do is open up After Effects. Import your footages. Cut the first footage where the arrow is in the halfway when you see this blur. Then cut your second footage and you will do the same. Take your footages together. Now you will have something like this. Add the arrow picture. I almost told you guys that you had to take the picture in front of a green screen or a black screen. But that's not true. Last time I took the picture in front of a black screen, but now I figured out that you don't have to. So what you're going to do is mask around the arrow. Scale down the arrow to make it smaller. Go to position. Hit the keyframe button and go one frame forward and move the arrow around. Do that several times, make it fit. When you can see your volunteer, make the arrow disappear into your real arrow that is attached to your volunteer. Add some blur to the arrow by adding the CC radial blur effect. You can see that the arrow is much darker in the picture than the video, so add an effect that is called levels. Mess around with the colors. Hey 
Hey buddy, yeah. wake up. So that's it. Are we done? Yeah. Finally! Now I can go home and play Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man? Why don't you go home and play Slender? Thanks for watching. I hope you understood what I tried to show you. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click on the like button. Give me some feedback. If you have any questions about the tutorial or anything else, send me a message. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and subscribe. If you want to help me, share my videos. I would really appreciate it. But now I have a question for you. What do you guys want me to make videos about? Any video ideas? Give me a comment below and tell me what you want me to make. I'll see you next time.